Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new course that is nothing but C Sharp. So let's try to learn about the C Sharp .NET. So what we can do with this .NET thing? So .NET is one of the pro uh, so not it's not a programming language. C Sharp is the programming language. So .NET is a technology. So where we can develop the web apps or console app, desktop apps, mobile apps everything so whatever the things you want to do it iot applications everything you can do it with the dotnet dotnet technology so in the dotnet technology so the language used is the c sharp just like the node.js how it is the runtime environment and dotnet is also a runtime environment and the thing which the language which we'll be using in the node.js is the javascript right the same thing the language used in the uh, dotnet is also the c sharp so I don't I don't want to go into the basics of why we used to use the dark net and all those things. The subscribers who are following my series or something like my channel, so they will be having a pretty understanding about these all programming languages and all those things. So that's why I'm not going deep into those all things. So directly I will start with the C sharp things. We'll try to learn about the C sharp and then afterwards we'll try to learn about the ASP.NET core and all those things one by one, one by one. We'll try to learn it. So first of all, let's try to see it. So now the requirements, the prerequisites, what I will be trying to do it is so I will be using the Mac OS and I will be using the VS Code so for implementing the .NET thing. So if you are using the Windows, you are not a problem. So you can use the Visual Studio Community Edition and you can install the .NET SDK so that you can use it. So now let's try to see it. So now in order to install the .NET, so what you need to do it is so here you need to type the .NET. Okay. If you try to use the, if you try to print, uh, sorry search for the dotnet here you will be able to see the dotnet and you can directly go to into this one so here you can directly go into this download thing and it will ask you that uh, thing which you want to do it so right now the long term support is the dotnet 8 and this is the latest one so whichever you want to use it you can use it but here i will be suggesting to use the lts support only so just like the node.js how you will be having so if you try to see here node.js and here also if you try to click on the download so you'll be able to have a LTS and also you'll be having the current that is nothing but the latest one. So in the same scenario here also you'll be having the current one and also the thing. And depending on the system so you'll be able to get here the windows the SDK or you will be able to get this one all. So here that there will be two types of things. So you can use the we should use the .NET SDK instead of using the .NET runtime. So .NET runtime will be used only to run the dotnet already compiled applications so in order to this one so we're using the dotnet runtime so we cannot uh, develop the application so the software develop dotnet sdk we need to have the dotnet sdk only so that is nothing but software development kit so using this dotnet sdk only we can able to develop the applications so that's why i'm trying to tell you uh, i'm i'm telling you that you need to download the dotnet sdk so you whatever the things you want you can do it at the time of this recording so the lts support is dotnet 8.0 and here it is the dotnet 9.0 i already have in my in my system so if you want to do it means so the best way which you can do it is the homebrew in the mac os so homebrew you can go it and in this homebrew so directly you can search it for this dotnet so here you i can directly search for the dotnet here so if you try to search for this dotnet and directly you'll be able to get this is the dotnet uh, runtime environment so here let's try to get that dot mm, net sdk okay so now this is the thing so brew install hyphen cask hyphen hyphen cask and dot net hyphen sdk okay so now so you can use this command you can do it so after installing the command in the mac os and windows you can directly do it so you can check for the dot net hyphen hyphen version something like this and you can able to see the 9.0 point something like that and you can also do dot net hyphen hyphen info so the dot net hyphen hyphen info and you, you can able to get this type of information so you can able to see the architecture the version what is the things you are having and here you'll be able to get the voice version everything is correct so here you'll be able to see dot net workloads install and the version that has been installed is the 9.0 point here you'll be able to see it and where the path it has been installed so everything you can able to see so now we have installed our dot net thing so now let's try to use it so here what I will be trying to do is I will be creating a new directory that is nothing but .NET projects. So just we will try to learn the basic things about this one. So here I have created .NET projects. So here I can directly go into the .NET hyphen projects and here in this ls. So here I will be creating a simple .NET application. Okay. 
So now for creating a .NET application, so you can create so in so many ways. So right now I'll be using the Visual Studio Code. So let's try to open the Visual Studio Code. Okay. So if you have the Community Edition, you can do it. But in the Mac, actually previously we used to have the Visual Studio Community Community Edition only for the Mac. But the Microsoft has uh, removed the uh, support for this my uh, Mac sub Mac support Visual Studio thing. So they have created they have to they have uh, whatever they are they are promoting to use only the VS Code instead of using the Visual Studio. Why? Because so we, Visual Studio Code is the most popular one, and we have the extensions for this .NET development also. So directly we can use the Visual Studio Code. So there is no need to worry. So, so everything works in the Visual Studio Code also. So you can do it. And, and also the .NET Core is an open source, so everyone can use. Everything is free to use. So now after installing the Visual Studio Code, so in your system, so the extensions which I would be suggesting to use is the you can search it directly in the C sharp here like this. So if you try to you if you try to search for the C sharp, and here you'll be able to see C sharp dev kit and also the C sharp. So directly you can install these two things. So if you are installing the, these two things, means you are ready to go. So that's it, guys. About this one all. So now what I would be trying to do it is so let's try to create a new project. So here I would be trying to create a new project. So here you'll be able to see create a .NET project. So let's try to click on this create .NET project, and here it is trying to create search for the type of project which you want to create it. So right now we are in the basic thing. So let's try to create a console app only. Okay, I will be creating the console app, and here you will be ask it will be asking you so where I need to do it. So in the code. In the .NET projects, so I'll be creating in the open, and here it will be asking you what is the name of the project you want to do it. So here directly I can do to do list. Okay, so let's try to create this, and it is asking the solution also you want to get. So okay, so let's try to create it. So now it will be creating the project. That's it. Automatically the project has been created, and in this to do list you will be able to see one file will be there that is nothing but program dot tcs file. So this is the program.cs file which you will be able to have it and also we are having a cs project file so which i will be trying to explain you in the upcoming videos and also we have a .sln file so this .sln file is a solution file where you can create multiple projects and you can attach to here so this is the first project which has been created so you can create multiple projects in the in this list. so right now we are doing it so now how to run this project in your visual studio code so you may be having a doubt so just you can go to the program.cs file and here so one thing what you can do it is here you'll be able to see a play icon at the top okay directly you can click on this one automatically the build will be happening so see so you'll be able to see the hello world as an output so that's it so simple right so in the visual studio code also you can able to do like this so this is the basic introduction so about the c sharp application which i want to tell you so directly i was jumping into the concepts and all those things so there is no need to worry just we'll do a some couple of exercises in the c sharp so that you can able to understand you will be having an idea about this c sharp thing so that's it guys about this basic introduction about the c sharp installing the c sharp application in your mac os and also in the visual studio code creating the project and also running the project so in the next videos we will try to learn about this all the basic things and i will try to explain you one by one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you